This is the Mixter E9 Active Noise Cancelling Bluetooth Full-Size Headphones. The E9 is supposed to be high-performance budget headphones. And today, let's check it out. In front of the box, we can see that headphones advertises ANC. It's the model number of E9. There's some branding information on the side, along with a couple features. The battery lasts about 30 hours, which is crazy long. Both drivers are 40 millimeters in size. You can use the headphones both wired or wireless. And there are more features and specs on the back as well. As we open the box, we're greeted with this very nice carrying pouch. We can see this is a hard shell case, offers very good protection, and it does feel very high quality. As we unzip the case, we can see the headphones inside and a bag of accessories. Inside of this accessory bag, we have a pretty long aux jack. So if you want to use the headphones wired, you can use this cable to connect with your device. There's also a micro USB charging cable, an airplane adapter, a pretty thick user's manual printed in different languages, and lastly, a warranty card printed in this headphone style. The headphones are also strapped down in this case, which is also pretty nice. So we take the headphones out. We can even see a divider inside of this case. This also prevents the headphones moving inside of the case while in travel. And as we can see, the headphone has pretty nice and clean design overall. It feels really rugged. There's no weird squeaking noise when you pull on it. The headband is padded and it's very soft to the touch. The extension is also very nice. It's made out of this aluminum band. And I don't even feel any play with these extended all the way. The ear cuff swivels and it also folds, which is pretty nice. On the left side of the earbuds, you have the aux jack, the ANC on and off switch. And on the right side of the ear cup, you have your power buttons, the microphone, LED indicator, micro USB charging port, and the volume up and down the sound selection buttons. The ear cups are nice and oversized, and they're super comfortable when you're wearing them. And now let's get right into the in-depth review of the Mixter E9 ANC headphones, where I give my pros and cons. And let's start with pros. Like I said earlier, the build quality of the E9 is substantial. These headphones don't feel cheaply made if you handle one. The headband is thick, no place between all moving parts and connection joints. There are even marked numbers and lines on the extension joints. Just in case you have OCD like me and you want your headphones set to be perfectly symmetrical. The ear cuffs not only swivel, they also fold if you want them to. So you can fit these headphones in the included case or a bag, a pouch or what have you. It's a very good space saving solution, especially for traveling. Comfort is definitely one of the selling points of the E9. The cups are quite large and you don't feel tired or fatigued even after hours of wearing. These headphones do have pretty good design and look. Consider the size of the ear cups, they don't actually look very bulky. When you're wearing them, they look quite low profile and certainly don't make you look like a robot. Trust me, there are a lot of full-size headphones out there. Since they're so bulky and large, you don't even feel like using them outside with people around. It's a nice gesture that they include an airplane adapter for your E9. Now you can use your own E9 during air travel instead of stuck with those headphones your flight attendant gives you. The voice prompt on the E9 is nice. These headphones announce you for things like powering on and off, connection status, and pairing mode. It's very easy to operate and it's confusion free. The sound stage of the E9 is fair for the price. The compression rate feels pretty low. You can definitely hear a lot of details and separation. Voice, mids, and highs feel pretty natural and clear. Bass is punchy but not overpowered. Overall, really balanced tuning in my opinion. The active noise cancelling is pretty clean without any weird hissing noise. I like that you can control your ANC functions completely separate from your power switch. No matter your headphones are on or off, in wire mode or wireless mode, you always have control over ANC separately. If you just want noise cancelling and nothing else, you can do that with the E9. There's also one con. When you're on max volume with ANC off, the E9 is certainly not the loudest in the full-size over-the-ear style headphones. But luckily, you do get more volume in wire mode. Overall, the E9 definitely performs as advertised, it is fairly priced, and they look aesthetically pleasing. Click the link down below in the description if you want more information of the E9. Consider like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I will see you next time.